Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from the frozen ice fortress that is my shop. The shop. <laughs> here? And together, the three of us, that would be us two and you. And you too. <laughs> we still have a redundant person in the room. Uh, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Good morning. And good me. morning. Good morning to you, boy. <laughs> good, good morning. I'm a redundant boy here. You know what? It doesn't matter how many people are watching. We are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Yeah. So. We are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. It's good to have you. All good right. to have you. Let's smoke something. Let's smoke something. Just quit being Let's redundant. Be redundant. <laughs> All right, what are we smoking today? Well, I'm seeing a pile of Sutliff. I don't know where that came from, but there is a Probably pile. Sutliff. Uh, 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 all right, not that one. <laughs> that one. All right, this one. <laughs> All right, so today we're going to be smoking it's, Man's Best Friend. Didn't we smoke that recently? Well, it's got a dog on it. It's got a dog. I don't remember smoking a dog. All right, we probably didn't smoke a dog. This says, smoking mixture never bites. Right. Right, Sutliff. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> the, just think of this as... Oh, man. Just think of this as pra practice for tobacco advent. For all of the tobaccos that these lovely folks are sending us. Better write down your uh, non-aromatic alley. So I'm going to be smoking this in a short stop. <laughs> Come on, live a little. Short stop. An excellent uh, pipe for sampling. An excellent pipe for smoking stuff that you don't really want to smoke. Not sure how often you guys run into that, but I seem to run into that quite a bit. Especially during Tobacco Advent. Well, if you weren't so picky. Uh, but during Tobacco Advent, you will be smoking in a naked nose warmer. That is right. Speaking of Tobacco Advent, still time to get your samples to us. We appreciate those of you have, who have already done so. Thank yep. you very much. And we appreciate those of you who have yet to do so. Mm. So, what's tomorrow, boy? It's a day off of work. A day I am th thankful for. Is that all it is to you tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a day that I cook the best turkey in the world. Thank you to Alton Brown. Alton Brown? Alton. <laughs> As his friends call him. Actually, many of his friends do call him Alton. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It's Alton so funny Brown. on all the cooking shows where there, there's a group of you know, Bobby Flay and all these others. Many of them call him Alton, but he has said over and over again his name is Alton. Well, I, I think the you can pick clear, your friends so and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick how people pronounce your name. <laughs> Isn't that right, Scoot? <laughs> yes, I guess it is. Whoa. <laughs> hey, and speaking of that, those of you. Congratulations who... to our friend Tom. <laughs> what for being married for, be, for the for last being four for weeks? Last Look, we haven't said it the last three weeks. Congratulations! Congratulations, Tom. <laughs> Sorry, just I was thinking about Hollywood Homer. Made the connection. Why were you thinking about Hollywood Homer? Because I because well, because I was because you're so Hollywood. <laughs> I was thinking about mispronoun mispronouncing that, but. So speaking of International Corn Cob Pipe Month video contest, what a perfect Is that time. this month? Yeah. Didn't we do that last month? Yeah. No. Last week we did. <laughs> uh, with people going on the road with Thanksgiving and being, you know, maybe in their old hometown or... or you know, I thought it had to be your hometown. Your town. To your... me, I say your town is where you are. <laughs> oh, that's like home is, if home is where the heart is and your real home's in your chest. That, yeah. That's some sort of hippie stuff we're on now. Okay. Wherever you want to be, it's your home, guys. <laughs> Opens this contest. Wide open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Go on. Wait. My question is, why am I struggling to keep this lit? I should be pretending I'm smoking it. <laughs> hey, it's not so bad. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, the thought occurred to me because, uh, you know, we leave later this afternoon for Ohio. And so, uh, 
heck, while I'm in Ohio, that might be a great time to go shoot my video. Yeah, where are you going to shoot it in Ohio? You're kind of cheating, actually. Well, the problem is we're not which going... part. Which part would be cheating? The shooting the video or the leaving the, the family yeah. to go shoot? Hey, the I video? gotta go for a little while. Oh, yeah, quick video. Go. It's okay, guys. My home is in my chest. <laughs> the problem is we're going to Logan, Ohio, and the most interesting thing in Logan, <laughs> I've already done a video. Mm. <laughs> this is my problem. I shoot videos everywhere I go and share these things with the guys on. The Aristocop channel. Was that the uh, controversial dollar store? <laughs> no. Goodwill mm -mm. of Logan? No, the uh, the ball house. Ah. Isn't that cool? Yeah, what about the waterfall? It's, I forget oh, the guy's cool. name, but it's something's folly. It's like Pete McSweet's folly. <laughs> <laughs> what waterfall? The park, like Old Man's Cave, and I, well, no, I mean in Logan. Mm -hmm. I only went to a couple years ago. Mm. You know, it's a fun sight watching your grandsons uh, attempt swimming. <laughs> a little a scared of the water. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Okay. Uh, we are not going to Ohio. Have I reserved a room at a hotel for you? I, I hope not, because I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Um, uh, un unfortunately, my um, I, I have to work uh, Black Friday, like some of you, and so it, it kind of limits where my family can travel this year. Um, you know, I've, I've given my wife the free pass to go. She's got her mother's going up to to Kentucky to visit her grandparents. Um, she's been invited to, to go there. She's been invited to go up to Ohio with my family or go to uh, to Raleigh to see her other family. But uh, I think we're probably going to stay local. Um, she wants me to, to be around for our boys um, for Augie's first Thanksgiving. And, yeah. You know, so I told her I'd be happy to, to meet, meet them wherever they happen to be on that Friday afternoon. But uh, it's, I think it's just too stressful. So. Well, we're going to wind up the week after Thanksgiving doing uh, cooking a bird at our place anyway, because we're going to go someplace. We're going to go out to eat in Ohio. We'll probably want, oh my gosh, are we going to, we better not wind up at like a Golden Corral or something like that. You wish it was a Golden Corral. It's going to be a cafeteria. Oh gosh. You're going to the cafeteria. The good news is there'll be lots of people there. The good news is that turkey was canned years ago and it's still <laughs> perfectly fresh. So we, we thought, thought uh, about a topic for today and we said, well, everybody's going to be doing the what are you thankful for for Thanksgiving. And we said, we are not going to do that. So boy, what's our, what's our, our question of the week? What are you least thankful for? <laughs> From the last year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If it's in the I'd last say, twelve I'd say, months, I'd say let's let's limit it that because you know for in your whole life that's you you're pulling some stuff. Oh gosh, thirty back. years ago we had a kid. <laughs> yeah, what a pain he has been. <laughs> I remember him. Yeah, yeah. Remember remember your big brother. I do. Yeah. <laughs> so um, okay, I'll go first because this one's easy for me. Um, I injured my knee and my foot. Mm. Now, what's weird is I injured my foot walking to and from and standing at a trade show in Germany. So every single day I would walk two miles there, two miles back, and then stand for eight hours in dress shoes and in a suit. Okay, The suit doesn't factor into it, but you know that's the reason why I'm wearing the dress shoes. And um, yes, I could have put on more comfortable shoes and walked in those had I had more comfortable shoes, but the other shoe, shoes I have are shoes. Uh, we're also kind of getting worn out. Mm. So I ended up getting on the ball of both of my feet, right there at my, not my, my big toe, but right there. On I got feet, a your feet big balls. callus on both feet. Well, the callus on the one foot healed. The callus on the other foot kind of morphed into some pretty bad pain. Yeah. 
And what my foot doctor now tells me is I have something called pre-dislocation syndrome, which uh, can be treated. That sounds made up. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it can be treated. I've got a splint on my toe to kind of help mm. hold it in place and so on. But the weird part about it is it has caused pain in my knee, which is far worse than the pain in my foot. Mm. And um, so I went to see my my. Uh, my family doctor and was there to talk about, you know, like just a regular physical. And of course, as usual, they ask in advance now, they don't like you just showing up and surprising them with aches and pains. I said, you know, while I'm there, I'd like to have him see my, take a look at my knee. And as we got to talking about my knee, he said, where did you injure this? What's going on? And I said, well, here's what happened back in May. I had this situation with my foot and, um, he said, you know, I absolutely believe that this knee injury is a result of the foot pain because you've changed your gait. You've changed the way you're walking, which is putting stress on your knee in a unique way. Now, the biggest frustration about this, and I, I hate this is not a Debbie Downer episode. I guess it kind of wah, is. Wah. Kind is of the question demands it, does Back it? when I was in, uh, in junior high school, I had a skateboard accident and mangled my right knee, had to wear a leg brace for months, and I have bursitis in my right knee. Every couple of years I have to go and get cortisone shots in my right knee. It's my left knee that I've injured. So now my good knee is my bad knee. Uh, yeah. So I'm having to do things like change the way I go up the stairs now. Mm. So basically I'm stepping with my right foot and then lifting with my right leg, Right. which is making my bad knee not feel great. So yeah. this year, the thing I'm least thankful for is my trip to Germany. <laughs> Guten Tag. How about you, boy? What are you least thankful for? Um, I think that that this is a hard one for me. Um, my, um, I am incredibly thankful for my job. But with my job, my, my new job um, has come a just huge demand on my time. Mm. And so I'm working, I'm working, I'm averaging 60 hour work weeks, sometimes more than that, sometimes a little less, but. Um, so basically you're working half days. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always on call, um, as manager, if, if there's ever something that, if there's something's going on in the middle of the night, I've got to be on top of making sure it's taken care of. Um, and you know, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a responsibility that I've, I've, I'm, in, I'm, I'm handling well, but the part of it that I'm least thankful for is that it takes away time with my family. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big, um, work-life balance kind of guy. I love sp spending time with my family, and so it pains me that I'm not able to, to spend as much time with them as I would like. You know, my last job, I was um, I was working like 35 hours, and it was just a very different circumstance. And so it's been a it's been a difficult transition for my family, for my wife, um, and uh, so you know, again, I'm incredibly grateful for my job, incredibly grateful for the opportunity, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity to to be able to um, to uh, supply for my family to to provide for them. It would, and you're using this way. skill sets that that you have that you've not used in quite some right. time. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's, it's great. See. It's great. You know, I'm, I'm getting to train. I'm getting, to, I'm getting to getting to you know, it's 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 great. But the one downside is that. It takes me away from my family sure. more often than I would, than I would like in in an ideal world. So that's yeah, that makes perfect yeah. sense to me. So, how about you? What are you least thankful for this year? Yeah, what, we are we are sacrilegious here. I think today, not not that no. we're taking this religious, but this is not traditional for no, Thanksgiving I mean, fair. No, but you know, get it out of your system. And then that's go right. be thankful for something. That's right. You consider this your festivus, <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, and and uh, you know because this is a season where people spend a lot of time thinking about what they're thankful for, which is good. You should, but it's okay to be on to have things in your life to acknowledge it. So the air of the grievances. Is, is that's what right. We're doing right here. That's it. That's exactly it. Um, speaking of grievances, no, uh, 
Next week, Tobacco Advent starts. Mm-hmm. It starts on the 1st of December. Um, there's still time to send in tobacco if you have it. Again, thank you. If you Because have. by December 1st, we will have received some, right. but not enough, of the tobaccos right. that we'll need. We will not have 25 samples right. by December 1st. So please keep them coming. Our address is down, down below. Um, and uh, share with your friends. Um, and there was something else. Get your videos in. Your videos <laughs> in. For International Corn Cob Pipe Month video contest. Yeah, I, feel, I still feel like there was something else. Oh! Uh, next week. Next week. I don't know if you realize this. I, but I, I think I know what you're going to mention. What am I going to mention? It's our centennial. It is. It is. Next week is episode 100. We just crossed over a, a couple weeks ago when uh, we had videos that weren't really posting well. Um, we just crossed over our two-year anniversary. So happy anniversary! Thank you, boy. Happy anniversary! Thank to you. you. Um, but next week is uh, episode one hundred. No, so. but but it's not our one hundredth video. No, but it's our one hundredth video labeled as a Mark Week, Breakfast weekly Club. episode of Markwood Bench Breakfast. Club. Right. So this will this is I think our channel has close to one hundred and fifty videos on it. You know, or probably even more than that now. With and, the and tobacco again, advent, we, tobacco advent gets us there because there's 25 videos we've done. Plus, we've had some videos where we posted things about, hey, we're in this town, or hey, here, here's us hanging out with Boontar, whatever. Um, but you know, this this is episode 100. Do you know what our most watched watch video is? Breakfast Club. Do you want uh, to announce it? Do you know yeah, what our I, most watched video is? I do. Do you like that video? Yeah, I do too because it's different. Yeah, it's different. You should go take a look at our videos and sort them by most watched. Yeah. And you should watch it because everyone else has seen it. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a fun one to shoot. And uh, that was one that we weren't sure was actually going to be possible. <laughs> um, and as, so as far as I have seen, there haven't been many others like it since. Mm-hmm. Um, That's worth, worth, worth tracking down. Yeah. Plus there are some cameos. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this up. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope that you have a great one. We want to hear your comments below about what's not so great this year if you don't get out of your system if you don't know how to cook a turkey yet uh if you recall those of you who are faithful watchers will recall that last year we had a cur- uh, turkey competition mm-hmm. and who who won that i forget alton who, brown who 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 won that <laughs> alton turkey? brown who, won that who won that i did because i, did. I was doing I something did. completely unique and it didn't pan out correct so but if I feel you want, good for having tried. If you want, well, and I feel good for winning. So if you want the best turkey at your, at, your, at your house, we'll at your turkey party. We'll link to that in the doobly-doo, too. You want to use Alton Brown's method, and you need to get on it because it needs to it needs to Marinate. sit in your brine for Get it, get it marinating hours. right it, now, it, right immediately. Now. Right now. It, it'll work. Even, even, if, even if you get to it later this evening, don't skip it'll the brine still though. work, but it won't be as good. Yeah. Don't uh, the, I've cooked this turkey his way using his method for the last four or five years. Mm-hmm. Last year was the first year. Two years ago was the first year that I fully did the brine the way it's designed to be. I always skipped elderberries or whatever. Some some of the stuff is hard to find. Spice. Um, don't <laughs> skip it. It, it is it. absolutely worth it. Oh, so good. Yeah, just do it. Okay. And uh, anyway, we'll check in with you later. In the meantime. Make it a great week. See you next week. Uh, Tobacco Advent. Yeah. Bye.